That's right. That's right. That's right. Just take a minute and explain to him what you're really trying to say. What you're really trying to say. Good evening, good evening. Pastor, how are you? Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Mom. Yeah. Hey. Hey, how you doing, Pastor? Oh, I'm doing so fine. So nice to see you and hear your voice. Yes, sir. Likewise. Happy New Year. I mean, likewise. Yeah, yeah. We've had a wild kind of a day today, didn't we? <laughs> With uh, our uh, president with his, uh, who knows what he was thinking, but. <laughs> who knows, That's, I, I heard some folks ask me that, from someone, someone called me from England and yeah. asked me what was he doing? What was, what was in his mind? <laughs> he, he was trying to work on a coup. Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> that, that, that don't happen in the US. <laughs> <laughs> no, at least not as broad as it has, you know. I mean, I think you we can um, we can think about how we've seen some certain conference elections <laughs> that started out as a you know, that it became a coup of sorts. Um but this is just it's very interesting, you know. It is very, very interesting. I um I just don't know. I really, really don't know sometimes, but um, I think I just heard something on the news. <laughs> They've kind of, the White House staff has banned the president from getting on Twitter, at least for right now. And it's like, no, <laughs> Mr. President, you you just can't. You can't. <laughs> but uh, anyway, <laughs> I just think that Pence, that Pence should use the 25th Amendment mm -hmm. and get him out of there, you know. Um, yeah. Put it, because he might wreck some more havoc mm -hmm. for the next 13, 14 days. Yeah, that's very possible. That is very, very possible. Um, you know, it's interesting because, uh, you know, I'm sorry, y'all. It is interesting because uh, what was it? Maybe it was a couple of years ago where um, Rothstein was at the acting attorney general or after the, uh, he let go uh, Jeff Sessions as the attorney general. There was a rumor that came out that said uh, they had talked about uh, invoking the 25th Amendment because they said this man is just not really fit for this office. And of course, you know, there was a lot of backlash in regard to that. Uh, but ultimately, um, I think we see now, but I think uh, they would say, uh, no, let's just, let's just ride out these last two weeks. And uh, then we'll ask the president to, uh, you know, we'll send him to Florida on the day of the inauguration. And we'll shut down all of his accounts where he can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want him to sit back and inspire someone to go and try to assassinate <laughs> President Biden, President-elect Biden, and so forth. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. We, you know, we, we, we're few in number, you know, but um, I see Sister Pierce, you're on the line with us this evening. Blessings. It's good to uh, see you. Okay. You want Thank to you. you want me to tell? Um I dropped something on my granddaughter's foot this not long ago. So she's asking for 
she's asking for you all to pray, pray. I said, you pray for her. I said, you want to say it? She's like, no, 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 no. You say it. <laughs> so. Hi. Hey, hey. Hey, Riley. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. Oh, wonderful. Yes. But let's go ahead and have a prayer. And um, we'll sing a hymn. And uh, really what I wanted to do tonight was just in light of all of this stuff that is going on around us with the attack, in my opinion, on the Capitol building and an attack on trying to somehow turn this thing around. I just want us to just reflect on it, just pray about it tonight. But uh, there's a song that uh, I pray that, uh, that is uh, appropriate for right now. Let's bow our heads. Father, we thank you for just bringing us together for these few moments this evening. Lord, we are surrounded by a lot of craziness right now, but we know, God, that you are still uh, you're still in the midst. You're still, Lord, uh, keeping us no matter what. And now, Lord, I just pray that as we just come together this evening, uh, please, Lord, bless us. Bless this country. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The song is uh, hymn, five, it, it's hymn 534. Hymn 534. Will your anchor hold? You know, there's five verses, so we'll sing a couple, three of them. <clears throat> but the song says, will your anchor hold in the storms of life? When the clouds unfold their wings of strife, when the strong tides lift and the cables strain, will your anchor drift or firm remain? We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. If to safely more twill the storms withstand, for tis well secured by the Savior's hand. And the cables pass from his heart to thine. Can defy the blast through strength divine. We have an anchor that keeps the soul. Steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. When our eyes behold in the dawning light, shining gaze of pearl, our harbor bright, we shall anchor fast to the heavenly shore. With the storms all past forever. We have an anchor that keeps us steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm in the Savior's love. How about turn there with me? Hymn 545, Savior like a shepherd, lead me. Much we need thy tenderest care. In thy pleasant pastures, feed us. For our youth, thy foals, prepare. 545, hymn 545. Three verses here. I think we can sing all three of those. Savior like a shepherd, lead us. thy tenderest care. In thy pleasant pastures feed for our new Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast brought us thine we 
Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast bought us thine, we are. We are thine, do thou be friend us, be the guardian of our way. Keep thy flock from sin, defend us. Seek us when we go unto Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus. Hear, hear us when we pray. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus. Hear, or oh, hear us when we pray. Thou hast promised to receive us, poor and sinful though we be. Thou hast mercy to relieve us, grace to cleanse and power to free. Blessed Jesus, blessed, blessed Jesus, we will early turn to thee. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus. We will early turn to thee. Amen. 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 Um, let's uh, do this one. Uh, hymn 524. Hymn 524. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know, thus saith the Lord. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to the Jesus, Jesus, I trust him. How I've proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Oh, for grace to trust him more. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to trust his cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing cleansing flood. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, Precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Yes, tis sweet to trust in Jesus, just from sin and self to cease. That's what Trump need to do. Just from Jesus simply taking life and rest and joy and peace. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, all oh, for grace to trust him more. I'm so glad I learned to trust the precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that thou art with me, will be with me till the end. 
Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. And I'm going to sing this one song. We'll just sing a verse of this. Softly and tenderly, hymn 287. Softly and tenderly, uh, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. At the heart's portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home, come home, come home. Ye who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, O sinner, come home. How does that go? Softly and softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. At the heart's portal, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home, earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, O sinner, come home. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, just want to, again, just, just to say tonight that we are here to um, just have prayer um, for what is going on, not only around the world, but also what we have witnessed today and, and tragically and unfortunately, in my opinion, what we have uh, witness over the four years that was leading up to such a moment as what we've witnessed today. Um, and so tonight, I just kind of want to open it up for those who are here with us to just say, hey, I don't know how you're feeling about it, but let's just talk a little bit about it. And um, then we're just going to a season of prayer tonight and we'll pray for um, whatever the Lord lays on your heart, but certainly uh, what is about to trans, what has transpired, and Lord knows what could potentially transpire because what we saw today could have been, could have ended up in many people being killed or hurt. Uh, there was a young lady that um, they gave her age of 16 years of age who, in the midst of all of this brouhaha, in the midst of all of this mob activity going on, uh, she was shocked. And she unfortunately passed away from her wound or wounds. I'm not sure how, all, how many times she was shot, but all I know is that in the midst of all of this, uh, this young lady lost her life. Perhaps she was fighting for what she believed in. Um, but at the end of the day, we have to be very careful um, how we align ourselves with others. So um, I just opened up the floor. So whoever, whomever so will, um, just share how you think and how you're feeling, um, and the floor is yours. Well, I'll go ahead and start it off by just saying that I was, I was shocked. Um, I was. I was taken aback that something of this magnitude would happen because someone and some individuals are so selfish and so self-centered that because of a desire to have something so bad, they involved other people. And people like could have seriously, like as I mentioned, one young lady passed away, but a lot of people could have been seriously hurt. And it reminds me of uh, in the Bible, there, you know, the Bible says that there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought, and 
Satan or Lucifer and his angels fall. And Lucifer's place was no longer found in heaven. Uh, Jesus said, I beheld Satan like lightning falling from the sky, falling from heaven. And it's interesting because the Bible says that uh, woe unto you inhabitants of the earth for Satan has come down unto you and he knows he has but a short time. And one of the interesting things that I find is that uh, it was because of selfishness, a desire to have power that caused Satan and the other angels to, to be, you know, basically kicked out of heaven and to lose their eternal life. Uh, to be able to live eternally, that, that is just something. And folks, I think the biggest thing that resonated with me today was just a reminder for myself to ensure that I do not let pride um, rule my life, a desire to have things that uh, maybe God never intended for me to have, but I want it so bad that I'll do, I'll find myself doing whatever in order to attain it. And I just want to, you know, I mean, it's disturbing. Um, you know, it overshadowed the fact that uh, the good Reverend Raphael Warnock has the first black uh, U.S. United States Senator, Senator to be elected from the state of Georgia since the Reconstruction era. So we're talking over a hundred years or more. We're talking like the the Civil War was like 1865. The Emancipation Proclamation was in 1865. Uh, Lincoln wrote it up in October of 1864, and it was enacted on January 1st, 1865. And then you had Andrew Johnson who came behind him, and they set up a whole lot of things. And it was during this time, uh, a little bit thereafter, that a lot of Blacks uh, became politicians. They were elected to the Senate and to the Congress. And then, you know, President Andrew Johnson uh, decided to take everything back from these freed slaves. And even though they couldn't enslave them again, they came up with these type of things called vagrancy laws, where if you were just out hanging out, they could arrest you, put you in jail, and then send you back to some of the plantations that you came from. So that now uh, you're still working for free. And the slave, you know, these plantation owners would, the slave owners would pay the state so much money. And we still have the same type of slave type labor for unfortunately the men and women who are incarcerated. And so uh, for me, uh, that is, that was a big overshadowing of the fact that uh, this, uh, this was a historic moment here in the state of Georgia. Uh, in addition to that, you know, you had John Ossoff that I'm hearing now has been uh, declared the winner uh, over Sonny Perdue. And uh, it's being said that he is the youngest United States Senator ever. Come find out he's Jewish as well. Um, but however, um, I believe Joe Biden, the president elect, is actually the youngest Senator in the United States to serve in the United States Senate. He was 29 years old when he was elected uh, for the state of Delaware uh, way back when and so forth. But so what I'm just sharing tonight is that, you know, it saddens me. It saddens me that I see these type of things happening. I just don't like it. Um, but the Bible does teach us that because iniquity shall abound, the love of many will grow cold. And the spirit of God is being slowly withdrawn from this earth. And the angels that are holding back the winds of strife, uh, if you see all these things happening, these winds of strife, these things that are coming, it's because... So if we don't get it now, we, we need to make sure we do get it. It's my wholehearted firm belief. And I know we've been saying it for years, but when we're seeing all these things happening in rapid succession, as Ellen White writes, uh, be prepared as God calling us back into a relationship with him. And so if you're hearing this, uh, maybe you might hear it on YouTube or Facebook. But one of the things I just want to share with those who might be listening is it's time to put aside some of these petty differences that we may have with others, even with our own selves. And let's just work together, you know, because at the end of the day, God is coming back for a faithful people and we want to be faithful when you're a So um, my prayer is that uh, President Trump will, uh, will allow the spirit of God to calm his heart, 
to calm him down from being so angry about what has happened and that this would be a peaceful transfer as much of a peaceful transfer of quote unquote power uh, from one administration to the next administration and those are just my thoughts on it tonight and uh, so i don't know if there is anyone else who may have some thoughts on that all right well um with that being said if there's no other thoughts on it um then i'm going to ask if we go into a season of prayer and uh, i'm going to ask um that whoever's on the line please you know uh, just offer a word of prayer for us uh see all the four of you on the line and um so it's Pierce, you're on the line, Elder Liebert, you're on the line, and um, not sure who Galaxy A11 is on the line, but um, but I just ask that we just go ahead and have a season of prayer. Elder Ford, would you lead us out, and I'll close out. Elder Liebert, can you hear me? I'll start off. Oh, okay. Thanks, Ms. Pierce. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's bow our heads. Dear Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Lord, we have embarked on this time of unrest, of shock, of just no words to describe these things, but we know and believe and trust that you are in control. So we, in all this, we want to give you thanks and praise and say hallelujah anyhow, mm -hmm. because you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You are omnipotent. You are the great I am who is in control. Nothing in this world happens without your permission. So we give you thanks and praise for being a God who's in control, who has allowed your son to die on a cross that we may have a chance to live eternally with you. Because you letting us see how wicked sin is, how wretched sin is, how a stiff necked people we can be. So we're just asking right now that you would help us send the Holy Spirit to encamp on each one of us who are believers of your word. Because you have said that if not for your grace, the very elect will be succumb. And then there's so much going on, Lord, that we're just pleading the blood of Jesus, asking that you send your Holy Spirit to help us stay touching the hem of your garment that we would not be lost in all this that's going on. We thank you for all those who have joined us this evening. We thank you for keeping us throughout this week to be able to come and worship and praise your holy name. We ask that you be with those who, uh, for whatever reason, was not able to log in tonight. Um, and we just ask that you would continue to be with us, Lord Jesus. I'm just asking, pleading on behalf of all of us that we just not let go, not let go to truly believe that you are God of all gods, that you are all that you say you are. Help us, dear Lord, be with those who are less fortunate uh, than we are. Help us to let our light shine that we may be a witness that through all these uh, times that we will bring in a soul, just like what was spoken on Sabbath, that let us make 2021 a year that we can truly, truly bring someone into the fold not pressure, but just to show that you are God and you love us and you're coming back for us. I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for 
everything, everything, but keep us in your fold. I, I plead the blood of Jesus again to keep us, to keep us from falling. These things I ask in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Elder Ford, I don't see you have a microphone. Uh, Brother Kachess, is does Elder Ford have a microphone available for her? But if not, I'm going to ask Pastor Library. Uh, yeah, could you give us prayer, please? Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, would you uh, offer a prayer for us, please? Sure, yes. Can you can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Okay, yes. Father in heaven, thank you this evening for the opportunity of prayer. Oh God, you have been so good to us. We have made it to 2021. Yes, and in spite of all the havoc and the struggles and the issues of life, mm -hmm. especially this, the, even this virus that has taken so many lives, mm -hmm. there are so many things to talk to you about, dear Lord. Mm -hmm. But I, I call upon you this evening and ask him for the courage, give it the patience, the strength, mm -hmm. And whatever we need as we go through the, these times of life, realizing mm -hmm. that tomorrow is not promised. Right. And we must prepare our hearts individually and collectively. Mm -hmm. Lord, you understand, you see what's going on in this election system. Mm -hmm. And countries are laughing after at us because I even, I even got I uh, got a call from the UK today concerning what what was done by the president here. And and the folks are laughing, but you you are going to have the last laugh. And I pray that in spite of him all, that we will keep our eyes focused upon you, so as to gain sight of your eternal kingdom. I pray, Lord, for our church family, praying for the poor, the sick, and the needy. Pray yeah. for the pastor, Pastor Carter, and mm -hmm. his family, that mm -hmm. you will continue to encourage him and fill him with your spirit. Mm -hmm. And as we go from day to day, may we prepare our hearts to meet you in peace. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name, amen. 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 Is there anyone else who would like to pray before I come and uh, close out? Well, if not, uh, let's uh, have a word of prayer. Father, Lord, I lift up everyone on this line, their families. Lord, I pray for those who are sick among us. Lord, I give praise because Elder Ashmi, Lord, has come home. Uh, she's still mm -hmm. on oxygen, Lord, but she's she's at home, and mm -hmm. we thank you for that. Uh, thank Lord, you. We lift up Sister Andrea Grant, Lord, her mm -hmm. her mother who is who's had a stroke, and Lord, mm -hmm. and now looking at all of the different types of care that she is going to need: uh, physical therapy, mm -hmm. therapy, occupational therapy. Mm -hmm. Lord says that uh, you know she's just going to need some help moving from mm -hmm. this day forward. But God. Uh, Thank you that you have given her another opportunity at life. Mm -hmm. Lord, we looked up Sister Christine Addison, who is mm -hmm. dealing with cancer, who is taking her fifth mm -hmm. chemo treatment tomorrow. We mm -hmm. lift her up, Father God, to you. Lord, I lift up my, my good friend, my old friend, Lord, from the Navy, my Navy days, um, mm -hmm. Gary Todd, who is dealing mm -hmm. with chemotherapy, Lord, for cancer. Mm -hmm. As God, please be with him, his wife, his children, Lord, his grandchildren. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord, we just ask that you recover him, Lord. He doesn't feel like eating, Lord. So we're praying that you give him an appetite. Mm -hmm. and that he Let it be have the nutrients in his body. Mm -hmm. Lord, as we, I pray for my family. I pray for mm -hmm. uh, us to have the peace that we need in our lives, Lord. But mm -hmm. more, of the country, Lord, more and more about Jesus, Lord, is what we all need to know. Yes, Lord, yes. of course, we pray for the country. Pray for President mm -hmm. Trump. 
pray for mm-hmm. Vice President Pence, their families, mm-hmm. pray for the White House staff and their families, Lord, mm-hmm. pray for the Senate and the Congress and their families. Lord, mm-hmm. we pray for Reverend Warnock and we pray for mm-hmm. John Watson, Lord, as they mm-hmm. yes, uh, get ready to assume the mantle of leadership uh, mm-hmm. in this country. As long as, uh, along with the other uh, individuals, Lord, who've been sworn in. Lord, mm-hmm. we also pray for the hearts and minds of those who have been inspired, whether mm-hmm. negatively, uh, when it comes to this whole thing today. Mm-hmm. Lord, we pray that they will come and just take a moment and think about what they're doing. And realize mm-hmm. Lord, that so. you are in control of everything. Yes, so let yes, us yes. pray that the nation will turn their hearts, that we mm-hmm. will turn our hearts back to you. Yes, yes. Let it God, be so. you said in your word, with way. my people, people who are called by my name, but humble mm-hmm. themselves and, the south and pray and turn, and turn from, from their wicked way. You said and that seek. you hear us from heaven. You mm-hmm. Forgive us of our iniquities and yes, yes, yes. our us. land. And so, God, yes. that's what we're praying for. Healing in this land tonight. Yes, 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 yes. And Lord, as we prepare for your coming, mm-hmm. Lord, may we not be lost. Mm-hmm. May we be able to one day stand on the sea of glass mm-hmm. and sing the song of Moses and of the Lamb. Mm-hmm. How we made it over. How Give us the it. rest that we need tonight. Yes, 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 in yes, Jesus' yes. name. Amen and amen. Let's amen. sing one song of this song. Uh, you all know it. 428. Sweet by and by. In the sweet by and by. We're just going to sing a stanza of that. It says, there's a land that is fair. And by and faith, faith it is we can see a fold of for oh, the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place. My dream in the sweet by and by. Let us meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweetest way, I am by. Let us meet on that beautiful shore. Amen. Thank you all. God bless you. All right. Uh, you all have a good night. I'm going to be preaching from the text this week. And the text is going to really challenge the question in our lives is, uh, how are we dressing for the Lord? How are we dressing for the Lord? Is it not what you think? It is not what you think. God bless you. <laughs> and you all have a good night. Good amen night. And amen. Thank you all for being here. Good night. Good night.